One of the common things that you need to do when working with accounting data in Power BI is to transform the data as it comes in. Very often it comes in, the information is there, but it's in the wrong format and it's not in, in a form that is useful for manipulation within your model. We have such a situation here where I brought a table into my model called BI periods from Sage 50 and it basically has the information I want in it but not in the form that I want it. Let's take a quick look at the data. Now to look at the data we'll go over to query editor. It's a nice quick way to look at the data that's come in and we can see we've got three columns. We've got the period, period number, 1 through to 12 for, for the different uh, periods of the year, plus 0 for brought forward and 13 for complete all transactions. And we have a text description of each of those rows. And we've got an internal period ID, which we don't need to worry about at the moment. So looking at this data, there are a number of things we want to do. Is Firstly, we want to get rid of rows that we don't want. So we're not really interested in row 0 and row 13. But to make this data useful and manipulable through the rest of my model, I really need to change this text information month 1 April 2017 into useful data information. So I want to extract the data information from this column here. Now what I'd like to extract would be the start date of the month, the end date of the month, and the number of days in the month. Now any of you that are used to Excel can look at that data and say yes I can do a text transformation within DAX but there's a much faster and easier way of doing it which is here within Query Editor. So the last thing that I'd like to do on this data as it comes in apart from a little bit of renaming is I'd like to transform this period column from a text column into a number column. Again I think that might be more useful in terms of manipulations of the data within the model because there are no connections with it between this table and the rest of my model at the moment. So let's summarize. We want to change some names. We want to get rid of the first row and the last row. We want to change the change the format of this column from text to number and then we want to extract three pieces of data information from this description column. We want the start date, the end date and the number of days in the period. So let's do the easy things first. Let's change the name. Let's call this accounting periods and we're talking about months, not years. And I'll change the name of this column to period description. Okay, let's transform this from text to number. If I right click on the column, I get the option, or so change type to whole number. And I want to get rid of numbers 0 and 13. What I can do is I can choose to filter here. Number filter does not equal 0. And does not equal 13. So I've done three things so far. I've changed some names. I've changed the name of this column from description to period description. I've changed the name of the table from BI periods to something a little bit more user-friendly, accounting periods. And I have transformed my period column from a text column to a number column. And I've got rid of two rows that are not useful to me, which was period 0 and period 13. Now to the hard part. And I want to extract three pieces of date information from this period description table. I want the start date of the period, I want the end date of the period, and I want the number of days in the period. So let's see how we do this. Firstly, let's duplicate this column just so I don't lose any information that's previously come in. And what I'd like to do is extract the information here. Now, that there's an option within Query Editor to split a column. I have an option to split column by delimiter. And I choose to split at each occurrence of the space. And yes, that's done what I want. So I now have a column with my year information, a column with my month information, and I've got a couple of superfluous columns that I can just get rid of. Okay, so we're getting there. I have 
the month and I have the year. The month is in text format and it's put the year in number format. But what I actually want is date in date format. So the way to do that is to recombine these columns. I choose to merge columns. If I put a comma in between, I'm beginning to get something that looks like a date, but I can still see it's actually in text format. So let's see what we can do. And I have an option to change type to date. And there. So I now have a date column showing me the start date of each period. So month one, April 2017, it's now 1st of April 2017 in date format, which is exactly what I want. So I can rename this column start of period. That's the first column that I want. The next column that I wanted was the end of period. Let's choose to duplicate the column again. And I can choose to transform the month information to end of month. So now I have my second column. So I've got the start of the month and the end of the month. I can rename that. End of period. And I just wanted one last column, which was the number of days in the period. If I duplicate the column again, and if I again look at transforming the months, there's an option here that says days in the months. And there we have it. Let's rename it days in period. Now that's really nice. Without writing a single line of DAX code and getting into really complicated text transformations in DAX, I have taken my period description column, which is in text format, and I've split it out into the start of period, end of period in date format, and the number of days in the period in number format, which is exactly what I wanted. Not a single line of code written. I can just choose to close and apply. And as I apply this change, it will refresh this table within my data model and apply the changes. And we now see my data in the model here, and I can explore. I've got the days in the period, the end of period, period, period description, whatever. And just to show that we have it, I can bring it, bring it up onto my canvas. So let's start with the period period description, which is my original information that I had. I have the starter period. And I just want to show the, the date, not the date hierarchy. End of period and the days in the period. Yeah, isn't that nice? The last two things I want to do is just transform the format of these dates just to take up a little bit of less space on my canvas. And go to modeling. Format. Let's do a more compact format for my report. And the same end of period. You can undo these changes or reverse them anytime you want. There. Now we have our beautiful accounting periods table that we can integrate into the rest of our model with some useful start of period, end of period, and days in period information.